We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Hmm. Then we realized that forest makes up about one fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the hmm. DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. Look at the little ones! In the forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because Look at the everybody. dinosaurs definitely do. I mean, they're just living their life. What? Now we're in Pennsylvania. Okay, that was a little bit of a twist. With operations ongoing across the country, the DFW need to establish a central headquarters to house all of the newly captured dinosaurs. A nearby airship? What? The only way to fly, right? Private. Away from the hubbub of the public. Huh. Prying eyes, asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. Can you imagine how exhausting meetings with him would be? Place where people can kind of disappear whether on their own or with the help of someone else. So, why not the dinosaurs? All right, here we go, friends. Delivery of a captured Carnotaurus a incoming. Strings, grease Whoop. a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. The bare bones are established, but before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Okay. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away from the meat of sources. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. We may need some additional hands on this one. Mr. Lambert? Standing by and ready to go. Oh. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. Very cool. He and Owen will deal with the dinosaurs while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous catches that will be coming your way soon. Delays are unacceptable. Understood. Oh boy. So we're just going to have to be ready for dino after dino to like arrive. Catch him. You keep him. All right. Well, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, where we're apparently getting ready to just yeet a bunch of dinosaurs into some enclosures in Pennsylvania. Man, like things just continually escalate for us here, don't they? But that's okay. I'm actually really proud. I feel like every time we tackle one of the challenges and we're able to go ahead and escalate into a new uh, new mission, we've gotten promoted and we're building our way up through the chain of command here in the fish and wildlife. So I'm pretty proud about that. I think the CIA has now gotten involved though. So I'm beginning to wonder just how important my security clearances and uh, how sensitive the information I'm now carrying around in my head might be makes me a little nervous but we are making good progress here so i think we're doing okay we have the ranger response team who else might we need a science center oh, we're actually going to be in charge of a science center now that's so cool and we need an expedition center i bet for live capture a uh, response facility we already have, a staff center to increase our scientist capacity and offer rest to counter unrest. All right, so it looks like we're making a central facility now, friends. I have no idea what kind of condition the dinosaurs are going to show up in, so I would like to go ahead and start with a medical facility being built. It looks like we've been given plenty of a big budget, so let's take advantage of it while we can. There we go. Do we have... A, we have the arrival point. I kind of want to go ahead and build ourselves an emergency shelter just in case, too. Oh, here it comes! The Carnotaurus. They're being delivered to the park. Two of them! Okay, I'm glad I made a bigger area. And we're gonna need... Let's get a ranger... Let's see, we want a ranger station. 
I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Got it. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Got it. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind as you build another dinosaur habitat. Safety first, for them and us. Get it built, then get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. All right, about we've got it up. Perfectly. I like him. He focuses on the practicalities first, just like I was saying we needed to do. I know these guys are going to want some water, so let's add that in. Oh, look at the big yawn! Did you see that? Oh my gosh, and look at how cute he is! All right, guys, these two are already being pretty precious. They seem to have actually survived the transportation over here. I always end up pushing the wrong buttons, but we've got this. But they seem to have endured the transportation over here with a lot of grace. Look at the little shelter that you have. Like, that's going to stand up to them. That's like the low budget shelter. It looks like a freaking porta potty. Can you imagine trying to sneak into that and like, oh, this will be fine. I'm sure this is camouflage from the big old chomper. No, I would, I, I really hope we have good health insurance for everybody, but that's okay. All right, let's carry on. So we need to make sure that these guys are at least 80% comfortable in their environment. What could we do to make you more comfy? Missing prey and sand. You should have, unfortunately, a little bit of prey available. I thought I put that in. I'll go ahead and toss that down because we I've found that they just get way too cranky way too fast. And then let's put in a bunch of sand around their lake. Oh, that's making him much happier. The trees are not going to like all of the sand, but as long as the dinosaur is happy, I think we should be good. So a bit more water actually wouldn't be very amiss because it looks like they really like water. All right. And the trees are taking to the water just fine, too. There we go. And the Carnotaurus seem to be doing fine. It's forming territory now. And yeah, we have a lot of live prey feeders, so I don't know why. Oh, maybe because... I'm sorry, security goat. I'm sorry. Because it's establishing territory, it probably can't see that there is a live prey feeder nearby. So I think we're going to be comfy in just a moment here. So it's roaming around. Harmless. Infamy. Oh, they have infamy levels now. From the kills that they have made, the fights they have gone on, the scars they bear. Rawr. <sighs> No doubt that's some sort of infamy fame, I say with air quotation marks, meant to hype everybody up. When really, look at these! They're just big sand puppies! They just want to spend their days relaxing. Alright, let's see. We should have that prey- oh man. Come on, come on, come on! I hate to do this. I really hate to do this to our security goats. It makes me very unhappy. I really hate that you have to like add them in immediately or else the Carnotaurus get really cranky. There we go, 100%. All right, now our big sand puppy seems to be feeling a lot better about himself. Hey buddy, yeah, you doing good? Oh my gosh, I love him. All right guys, while we take good care of them, let's go ahead and actually name them after some of all of you who I'm sure have also become interns at this facility since I think you're gonna need to hire a whole bunch of people in order to take care of this many dinosaurs. Oh gosh, here they go. I love seeing them interact. Oh yes, look at them go. All right, friends, this one is actually going to be named Yuki. And Yuki, I am so glad you are enjoying our adventures. You've got the zoomies at the moment. Oh, my goats! That makes me so sad. I am very sad about that. You have a medium carnivore population two territory. Uh, dislikes other carnivores, but you wouldn't mind having some other dinosaurs in with you. That's kind of amazing to see. Uh, no traits manifested. And apparently it doesn't count that you have killed a goat. I feel like it should. I feel like it absolutely should. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, if we don't have the security goats, it looks like everything will just freak out. All right, so we have Yuki, and then let's go ahead and pull up another comment from our random comment generator. And we have Draco. Draco, welcome, Yuki and Draco. See, you two are no doubt helping me out with all of this. And we have an Allosaurus incoming. 
All right, we learned that those guys really like to have a very large enclosure, so we're going to need to expand this quite a bit. Let's go all the way back, because it looks like we can come all the way back here. They like to have a lot of forest, we learned. And since the Carnotaurus are pretty happy, I think I'm just going to go ahead and not expand their area at the moment. All right, then we're going to get this fencing out. I think this will make the Allosaurus happy. And the Allosaurus needs some water as well. And we'll also want a lot of forest and, unfortunately, another live feeder. Oh, I hate to do this. Run, my friend, run! There we go. See, so we're already prepared for the incoming Allosaurus other than the fact the fencing needs to get built. I feel like the fencing team would be the people I would want to pay the most just to make sure that like everyone's going to be really cautious about like maintaining every everything for their own safety. And while we wait for the Allosaurus to come in, I am, I'm just so excited. I just love the idea of like working with you guys here. Like this is us. This is us roaming around in our uniforms, which means that it's really important to make sure those fences work. And since this is us, I thought it would be fun to start like naming the ranger teams and even the zones that the dinosaurs are in. Let's see, can we name the zones? We, we can name the gate, but what about like the territory? The enclosure, can we name it that? We can rename, whoop, here we go, visibility. It's important to ensure that your dinosaurs are visible to guests from buildings with visibility. Check the dinosaur visibility view mode to identify any gaps in your coverage. Well, it, it, like, we'll say it's not guessed this time, but it's like researchers. And I too would want to know where the Allosaurus is. If I'm like looking in its exhibit and it looks empty, let's just say we don't have the best track record for keeping dinosaurs where they're supposed to be from our bosses. I don't trust them about as far as I can throw a brontosaurus. So. Let's see. Areas around popular buildings with visibility will likely become congested with guests. Plan your park around this. Got it. Got it. We don't need to worry about that just yet. Since, you know, we're currently working with government employees and not guests. What the heck? Run, little ranger team, run! I was literally about to rename this ranger team. As tradition, after some of our patrons, like we used to do in the old, um, the old series, and then it gets attacked. So maybe I'll wait till it's fixed, so I don't name them, just to have somebody like end up dying immediately. All right, Allosaurus, we're ready for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be fully comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are. So <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. All right, this is going to be really tricky to make sure that the Allosaurus is visible from the viewing gallery. Because I made such a huge area. So maybe we'll go ahead and... Mm, I did make it too big for that, didn't I? Ah. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and like install one over here. That probably isn't the worst idea. Because then we could put a couple to, like, have a view of the back. And we do have a lot of money at the moment, so maybe it's a good thing to do with the money we've got. Alright, let's come along here. Connect up. And let's come and check in on our Allosaurus with the new ranger team. Oh good, and the ranger team is still with us and they haven't had anything bad happen to them just yet. Oh, thank goodness. Now I can go ahead and rename them after one of our amazing patrons who make all of these adventures, including our adventures here in Jurassic World Evolution 2 possible. Thank you so much because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to get the game, so thank you. But we're gonna have Dakes Dreamy. Whoops. So Dakes, you're gonna be the Dakes Ranger team. And thank you so much for making all of these adventures possible in our series. Uh, and good luck. Good luck, friend. I don't know if I would want to be you because now you're the one who's going to have to go in and like check in on our dinosaurs pretty often. All right, let's see. Meanwhile, we're going to have this path hug up along. I should probably give it a little more space so we can put another viewing gallery over here if we need to. But since we have the funding, almost three million, oh, that goes so fast. That's only like, what, six broken dinosaur bones and then like we lose all that funding because we need to heal so many of them. There, 
it's sloppy, but, you know, we're not going to be here forever. I plan on getting promoted soon. Oh, my! That was an interesting sound. All right, where'd you go, friend? Oh, there you are. All right, look at this. The Allosaurus is actually 100% happy. Yeah! Like I said, Dix, you might want to move. <laughs> I wouldn't envy you at the moment, friend. Oh, wow, look at the night vision on this. We can go ahead and really get right up here with Binda. Binda, welcome. You're going to be one of our researchers, like, plopping about and helping us to take care of all these dinos. Oh, this is so fun. I just love the idea that we're all, like, huddled together inside one of the viewing galleries. Taking notes. Filing reports. Complaining about being caught in the, uh, like, very awkward love triangles. And how I just want to, like, chuck fin like Finch right out of... Mm. Well, a helicopter would be a little too violent. I would just like to throw him in, like, a ball pit. Because I feel like that would occupy him the entire day trying to get back out. So, like, just imagine. You go into work in the morning and you kind of just gently hip check Finch into a ball pit. Like, oh, sorry about that, sir. Yeah, the ball pit we installed for the daycare that we're running. Which would be actually a horrible idea. Who would want to bring their kids to work here? No! Like, no! Don't bring your children to work here! I take it back! The ball pit's just for morale. The dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. Nice. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately, science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. End of story. Uh-huh. I love how we were able to go ahead and get the job done. Before she finished talking. We could really use an expedition center. Get one built. Yep, done with that too. Nice! Ooh, and we have research available! <gasps> you guys! Finally! We've been promoted enough to be able to have our hands on some of the research available. One of my favorite things about being here behind the scenes with the Jurassic World Evolution events. Being able to dive in on the research unlocks so much new stuff. You can get infrastructure unlocked, you can get welfare for your dinosaurs, and also maybe better fences, please. I would really like to research some better fences. That would be fantastic. <laughs> You can go ahead and unlock all sorts of different boosts for when you are trying to genetically recreate your dinos as well, which time will come when we will be able to be promoted enough to start working with those skills. I suppose it's been very useful to start from the ground up so that we're prepared when it comes time to run our own park here. But for now, I think what they want us to potentially research is the scientist training, which enables the training of scientists. And we're going to need to have a high quality team if we're going to be able to carry things out and as you see now when you go ahead and research something it wasn't as easy as before where you just needed money and like a research facility now you need to also go ahead and assign your scientist and as their unrest goes up they will actually not be as good at their work their quality of work will start going down they won't be able to get as much done they will get really disgruntled i'm not sure if they'll just like quit working for you but you know that could be a problem all right, an expedition center built. Ha! Huh, we're so on top of this. I, I think that we're totally... I mean, if we can handle the express delivery of three big predators and make them so happy and cozy that they're just curled up ready to sleep for the night, I think we can handle whatever we get thrown at us next. Okay, Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Hmm. Check the expedition map. And dispatch a remote capture team to a hot spot. I'll do what I can on my end. All right. Well, oh, oh. Incident alert! Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about a dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of St. Louis. That's where my friends live. No! Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead. 
Off to St. Louis. Now we need, oh, we don't have the staff for it. Oh, this is why we needed to hire more scientists. All right, we're gonna have to handle that or else there's gonna be like more rampaging dinosaurs in St. Louis. And we also need to get ready to go ahead and add those dinos into our facilities as well. So I'm gonna get that all sorted. And if you guys could do please leave a like for our new sand puppies who are frolicking somewhere around here. Unfortunately, that's the Dex Ranger team who's gonna have to go and find them. Good luck, friends. I hope you aren't spooked by things that go bump in the night. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.